it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having an amazing and safe day. Now today I'm going to be repotting my a bunch of canterae, uh, cactus plants. What a name. We have two here. They are the same variety but we got them at two different times. Uh, this one here was given to us as a cutting from our friend in Edinburgh and it has done very very well. It was cutting, it was just a little pad. That, um, that he sent and this is all the new growth probably about three four years ago now and then this one here is also what I also got as a cut-in from our friend in Belfast before we actually moved over to Belfast and this was just the little the little pad there that I got and as you can see a bit of a scabby pad and this is all of the new growth from then so again this would have been probably about also four five years ago as well so I think it's time that these were due a repot the roots aren't coming through the bottom, but with, with, a, with a lot of time with our cactus plants, if they don't need to necessarily be repotted into bigger pots because the roots aren't coming through, it's always good to change the soil every couple of years, even if, they go, even if the plants go back in the same pot, it's good to refresh the soil, give them a bit of a, the roots a bit of a energising and you find they grow better as well. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this in this video. Now this particular cactus, your puncture canterae, has some orangey yellow flowers in, uh, in cultivation. They do have to grow quite large before they flower and to get a puncture in general to flower in cultivation um, is, is sort of very difficult. They usually have to have amazing conditions, lots and lots of sunshine and usually grow quite large. We have had our pun some of our punctures flower for us in the past which has been great. So if these flower we'll be very very happy in the future anyway. And obviously, a punchers, that these particular punchers, like all punchers, do love to have direct sunshine, a lovely sunny position. This particular puncher can actually take a little bit more shade than some of the other punchers can, which is probably more obvious as you can see here with their um, the way that the spines and the areoles are spaced apart here and more of the bare skin. And what's interesting about these two plants here, this one is more in slightly more of a shadier spot in the polyton or still gets direct sun, but it's a little bit to the side. This one is more that was in front of it that gets a lot of sun. And you can see that's why it's a little bit more yellow. So you will always know with, with cacti in general, if, if they're in otherwise healthy condition, they're going to be yellow, too much sunshine then um, they may be moving it's a little bit away to a little bit less sun. But sometimes it can be a sign also that it needs the soil change and a bit of a refresh as well. I'm going to do a separate video on uh, cl chlorosis and why it happens because there's many, many, many different reasons. So this, in this case, it's just down to the fact it needs a bit of a, a bit of too much sun and also a bit of a refreshing into fresh soil. And these, these a couple of puncture cacti here can take sort of cold temperatures in the winter time but because we live here in Ireland in Northern Ireland we have a high humidity in the winter and that's why we overwinter ours at a minimum of five degrees Celsius which is about 41 degrees Fahrenheit so it's different if you're living in Arizona and a lovely dry arid climate that can take more colder temperatures in the winter because our humidity is higher here we keep ours at a bare minimum of 5C 41F in other words we keep them roughly around the seven to eight degrees Celsius mark which is about 45 50 even 48 degree Fahrenheit but we have a heater that kicks on if it drops below five so just to let you know and we keep them cool and dry over the winter we don't give any water at all to any of our punctures during the winter months they will shrivel like prunes and then come the spring again we start to water them back up and they pump back up again and punctures sort of natural like that when they need watering in the winter they sort of hang like prunes and they soon plump up again when you start to water them as normal in the summer and as long as you use a very well draining cactus mix which I'm going to talk about in a minute they, they like to be pretty much watered quite freely from the spring right until the, the mid to late summer as long as you allow the soil in their pots to dry out in between waterings don't just keep watering it all the time so it's sitting in soggy soil because all cacti are rot even even when they're actively growing in soggy soil but if you let them dry in between and then water again i find these grow quite fast growing as well healthy um they love the watering and a good fertilizer as well we use a cactus and succulent fertilizer 
usually with every other, every two to third watering that you give them and they will thrive. We do like to use tomato feed as well with a lot of our cacti, not necessarily the Apuntias because we do with some of our bigger Apuntias hoping they're going to fit, flower but as I say mentioned earlier it could be a long time before these actually do flower so we just stick to the normal cactus and succulent fertiliser with that. So here we go guys, a bit of information on them and a bit on their care and uh, Let's get repotting. So I'm going to start with this one first. And before you say, why aren't I wearing gloves? Well, this is an easy one for me to handle. Now, a lot of your punctures would have glow kids and you only have to touch them and they stick to your skin. So with sharp cacti and, and the punctures with a lot of glow kids, I would, gloves are, Personally, in my opinion, a waste of time, don't bother with them. But what I would do is cover my hands probably with a lot of newspaper and cardboard and hard paper and turn it on its side so I don't get spied. These are easy to pick up because it's just easy to handle. So that's why I'm not using gloves. And if you want to know how to repot a cactus, then do check out the video I have made on how to repot a cactus. Links up above. And before going any further, I also want to give a very special thank you to my cameraman, behind who is filming me today, my wonderful fiance Hans. So if you're not familiar with Hans' amazing YouTube channel, Family of Cactus and Other Beauties, please do over subscribe to him, links up above. And don't forget to subscribe to me too. <laughs> so here we go guys, as I say, this is so easy to read pot, it's easy to hold. And what I've been squeezing, that's a good source, so I'll get that out. Squeeze the pot, turn it on its side. These pots are very flimsy, so they're very easy to squeeze. There we go. And what I like to do when I repot cacti is obviously check first of all the roots are good. There's no signs of root mealy bugs and rotten roots. If there's any dead roots, then you can just prune them back, leave the pot, leave the plant unpotted overnight, depending on how big of a pruning you have to do. If it's a big root pruning, you have to leave it probably for two to three days, even up to a week. But in this case, these roots look pretty good. And normally I would loosen the soil a little bit as well, as I'm doing now, just so the roots, the, the old soil just come away a little bit. I don't like to, I prefer to touch the roots as little as possible so there's less damage to any of the roots. But I just like to loosen it up a little bit. That's enough. As you can see, the roots are quite loosely in the old soil anyway. And the soil isn't that much different to what I'm using now. The, the soil mix I've made up here, I have made um, equal parts of a loam-based soil, which is John Innes number two, mixed with... Um, lava rock and pumice and a bit of extra sand as well all mixed in and that gives excellent drainage there and uh, this wonderful cactus mix was actually mentioned to us by our, our friend Daz from Cacti Mania and he told us about this this mix and very very happy with it. Daz would actually use four equal parts of grit, um, John Innes and um, lava rock and um, pumice <laughs> as we've used a little bit, a bit more of Three equal parts, I should say. But you can make it up to, to how it suits you and what cacti you're using. But this is, I have to say, very, very happy with that. And if you want to know how Daz um, makes his cactus mix, then links up above to a video on um, Daz's cactus mix. So thank you, Daz, for telling us about this. Very happy. I say, you can use any mix that you really like with your cacti. As the most important thing is that it is well draining and it's good quality. A lot of the commercial cactus mixes are absolutely horrible. And uh, that's why it's good to make your own. So there you go. So I've put a little bit of soil in the bottom of the pot already. Potting that in there, holding it in. And then just all around here. And what I like to do when I repot my cacti, this is just something I like to do. I always prefer to do it in the spring and the summer. Spring is ideal, better, because then it's got a chance to set into its new part all over the growing season. But I know many growers who do it in the winter with no problem. I just prefer to do it in the spring and the summer. And then I like to leave them unwatered for a few days just to allow them to acclimatise to the new, the new soil and also any chance of any damaged roots to heal before I start to water again. So usually a week to 10 days, then I water as normal. I'm going to be doing that with this one. And then just gently tap around just to make sure all of that soil has gone and the pot. And then just gently, very gently press down. You don't want to go where you can press the, the roots and damage them. Just that. And then just a little bit more on the top. So that's easy peasy. That's that one done. And you 
decanter A there. And that one uh, next is this one. <laughs> Again, the same thing, different soil that I used on that one. Again, press it down. This one is a lot more of a sandy soil, I think we used with that, because this was a cutting. And when we potted it, I mean, it's not been potted since, as you can see, we potted it up with just mostly loam and a lot of sand because we wanted to treat it. Cuttings would use a lot more sort of sand as well with. And there you go. Again, checking the roots, that there's no signs of any bugs or anything there. No roots that really need pruning back, so that's great. Gently loosen it, just so the roots are a little bit loose. That's enough. And then, again, done the same thing here. <laughs> Put it in the bottom, there you go. And Ponty doing a great job there of filming. <laughs> it's so much easier when I've got them to film me guys because I've done repotting videos before and I've had to set the stand up and always, oops, <laughs> a little bit more difficult. It's just more interesting when somebody moving the camera about. So, there we go. Again, just gently press down so it's tap the pot because that helps all the little soil and the grit and everything to get around all them edges and I use this part just to gently press down to make sure it's all down the sides so there's no old pockets and again I'm going to do the same with this one I'm going to wait a week or so before I start watering again and if you use a very well draining, so what I'd like to do with these when I do water them in the spring, so as I mentioned earlier, is to make sure that you allow the soil to totally dry out before you water again. Because the punctures, like any cacti, can rot if they're kept in soggy soil. They grow in arid climates. Same that the puncture is such a massive, massive genus that they grow pretty much in a lot of different climates. I mean, some of them grow even in dampy climates and everything, but in general, um, they're like an arid. There we go. Happy days. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video guys. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti suckers, please do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Cactus power.